Hello, we start a new session. Um, our site is humancolony.org. There you can see all our videos now, over 40 videos, video sessions. You can uh, donate for our work to support what we are doing, basically doing more videos. If you donate, we will do more. It will be easier for us to do more. And you can sign up for personal gyms sessions uh, on uh, through the site as well. And you can uh, apply to visit the stars there. And right now we have a new application. That's a great news. In the last session with Zachariah, we got an invitation from a queen, Aurea. Uh, from the planet called, with temporary name for us, Utopia 5 from Andromeda Galaxy, they are inviting humans to volunteer to visit them. And the visits this time are going to be in astral form. It will be astral, astral projection visit. They uh, have many Earth humans living there from the ancient times. They were taken there as slaves and now they're free citizens of uh, Utopia 5. So, and they are welcoming uh, new visitors to enhance the, the open, uh, the, the, the contact and interaction, cultural interaction. So that's great news. So you can apply for this visit through the website humancolony.org. Uh, we invite in now, we, I'm very excited. We are very excited about that. So we have now two places which invite volunteers. And we invite more of extraterrestrials who could accommodate our volunteers to for the visits. Visits to the ships, to the motherships, to to the planets in uh, any form. Obviously, they, we, 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 the volunteers would volunteer to something which is positive and that should be a an informed consent. So right now we know this, uh, these two places where they invited. The human colonies by, by Yael, very benevolent, gray people. And these are Pleiadians from Andromedan galaxy. Pleiadians on Pleiades, but they moved to Andromedan galaxy. So uh, these are very benevolent and we trust them fully. So this consent would be relatively informed. if. Uh, any other aliens want to invite us, we would be happy to consider and invite volunteers for visiting their ships and planets. Uh, Jesus, Buddha and Muhammad came recently. It was very enlightening and we welcome any of those energies to come through. Uh, if my personal spirit guides want to come through, they are welcome. I will not publish their appearance, so they are free to. Uh, they can feel comfortable speaking on camera. I wouldn't publish that. And my higher self, I didn't speak to him for a while. I would also invite him. Also, poetry, blessings, and prayers. We are compiling the book of galactic poetry. Uh, benevolent aliens with uh, the poetry of their cultures are welcome to come through and speak to us. And with that, I will find my drum and Jim, you're welcome <laughs> to, uh, as uh, Daddy Lanka said, that's one of the few jobs where you're paid for sleeping <laughs> at a job. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense.
Greetings. Greetings. This is Fission. Hi, Fission. There is something negative trying to get through. Hi, what is that? Uh, well, what is that? Right? You don't come in. No, I do not. Alright, we don't want you guys. Uh, negative, please uh, stay away. Not today. I'm doing my best. Thank you. I appreciate you. One moment for us, please. Greetings, Max. Hello. This is Dizdu. How do you do? Uh, I've been here from you for a while. There has been much work to do, much responsibility to take care of. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all your work. People from the side pass many great gratitude to you for your work, your team's work on Earth Project, uh, keeping our access and climate in, under control. It is quite a Difficult jobs at times. There is much going on on the earth, and there is a slight warble in the earth at this time, which causes some things to be even more dangerous. But we will be taking care of this in a period of time. Not nope. There was a channel that Venus somehow saved the Earth from a big disaster, which I didn't listen, but people kind of told me about that. Is it true? This, a week ago, about a week ago. This is partially true, yes. What are the major dangers? Uh, flipping the axis? The flipping of the axis is a very large danger, but they... <clears throat> We're able to fend off some other things that were not meant to come to Earth. So 
this was a very big help for us. Uh -huh. And in this way, caused us to pay more attention to our jobs marching over the earth. What should we discuss? What is most important? I am not here to stay. I just came to say that the sentient beings that were trying to make their way into Jim's body are not around any longer. I see. Were they reptilians? They were an energy being that I have not seen in many, many years. I see. Okay. I am surprised that they are even in this galaxy at this time. I see. Hmm. Ah, greetings. Greetings. I am Cynthia. Hey Cynthia, nice to have you again. Cynthia is from Sirius. Correct. I have noticed that there has been much turmoil on your planet with the weather and so many things. I feel very sick when it is freezing, when it, like we have frost in, in Rochester, like very cold weather, and I've, even if we're inside the house I feel kind of drained. Yes. It is an attack. Attack. You have been told of these before when people feel drained on your planet, that you should start giving thanks and start re-encouraging your spirit to be Positive. I thought my spirit is positive. Oh, I mean, spirit here, like the physical mind. Yes. Yeah, that's what I do. I say whatever. <coughs> my my mantra is whatever. There is much turmoil here. On your planet. When spring showed up, we had few moments of the spring lately. It was very encouraging. Yes. My message today is short, but important. Okay. Your connections to one another, do not let them be frayed by things in your body that are not common to you. Does this make any sense? Things in our body which are not common to you maybe not don't belong to us? Energies that are coming to you saying things about others that may not be true. Mm -hmm. Yet you believe them because they are strong feelings. Because they are a strong feeling does not make them a true feeling. Please go into yourself and find if they are positive or negative. For these are the things that you grasp on to in your spirit. If you grasp on to the negative, that is what will come out. If you grasp on to the positive, that is what will come out. Do you understand? These things that come into you, thoughts and negative ideas that other people are trying to harm you or there's things wrong or there's <clears throat> someone is betraying you please find the truth before you take action 
yeah. because many times in this day and age, the action will result in much harm where it wasn't necessary to be in the first place. So delay speaking negatively, delay acting negatively. Until you know the truth. Perhaps asking questions would be a better way to broach the subject than attack. Do your homework, do the research. Correct. And if you just read something in electronic mail, call the person, ask them what do they mean. Correct. There are many such problems happening on your planet where people are attacking one another verbally when none is needed. It was a misunderstanding, or the information was incorrect, or the intent was not meant as they took it to be. That's right. That's right. Intent, my friends, will help you unite yourself. If your intent is to unite, you will be united. This is very important to us, that you shine your light and connect instead of disconnecting. This is not the will of the light, the goodness, the Father, any of those spiritual beings that you believe in. Believe that you should be connected by the light and not disconnected by the darkness or the negativity. Please grasp that even sometimes when you're not aware of the negativity, it can be coming out of you and poisoning others. Be aware of who you are and what you are doing. Be aware of the atmosphere around you and how you can change it or make it better or worse. You have much control of this world in and of yourself. You can make yourself a positive being and that will help unite and cause others to be positive. And when you're negative, causes others to be negative as well or uncomfortable at the least. Do you understand, my children? Yes, people ask, isn't it fear or fear? We sort of say, be afraid of negativity, and it, it by itself is a negative statement. Yes, you must not fear negativity. You just must not entertain it. I want to thank you. I wanted to pass invitation to your culture. You are we invite light workers, positive light workers from your culture <coughs> to visit us in meditations. Thank you. Uh, many members of the site invite light workers to communicate to us. Yes, we receive many requests. We do come to you and we do pick you up in your prayer times. Yes, we will help you with your vibrations. If they are moving forward, we help them along. If they are moving in an opposite direction, we just let that go for now because we cannot bring it up when it's moving in an opposite direction. Does that make yes, sense? Yes, I understand. Not we to draw flow with the, the flow. Yes. yes. Not to swim against the flow. Yes. So we move with the flow and increase it and bring it up quickly if we can. I feel wonderful energy at the moment. I feel with my hands the energy. I am sending out energy to those that are listening, that will listen. Can you give us a piece of poetry or a prayer, if possible in your language first? There is not time for both, but I will give you a prayer in your language. Thank you. One moment. Lift your eyes, do not seek lower ground, but seek the mountain, seek the high grounds of the soul, 
Let them be filled with light flowing even closer, and let the valley be filled as well. We know that the light is warm and inviting, and the cold sheds us away. But yet, let the valley be full of warmth. Even now that it's growing cold, we ask you to come and shed your light into the valleys and upon the mount. I lift my heart to the clouds. I lift my heart to the sky. I remain filled with the spirit of a love that is transcendent. We know now that there is love coming upon us and help us to feel it. Help us to bring it in so that we may be part of that eternity that comes after the body. We know that the body is only temporary. And we know that the love is always eternal. The energy that comes to us is vast and deep and full. And why should we want to not linger there? Why should we not want to fill ourselves with goodness? Why should we not want to bring out the best in ourselves and others? Keep us and train us. Acknowledge us. Form us in your way in so many ways. We call upon you always and forever. This be our will upon ourselves. Did you understand? It was amazing, yes. I must go now. Can you give us a goodbye in your language? Truti. Forty. Truti. Truti. Hey Jim, welcome back. I pause for now.